as you can see here on the weather channel I'll show it to you minus 10 degrees what we're showing is how well the fast starts in cold weather we have straight number two fuel from the United States which I would not recommend at minus 10 but we want to show what we can do we have a 60 gallon tank in here we only have about five gallons left because we had to drive all the way up here and I saw the and went bag on the way up. And now we're up here in Thompson. We do not have the truck plugged in this this uh, session. We will in the next one because we're going to start at minus 15 and minus 20 and see if we can do that. Right now in the uh, cab, we have a fuel pressure gauge we have, uh, uh, and a fuel temperature gauge so you can see the temperature of the fuel. And we're just going to start it up this time, see if it starts, see what the temp, uh, fuel pressure is, and then shut it off since I don't have a whole lot of fuel. Get the minus 15 in that area, see if it'll start again, and go for minus 20. And then after that, we're going to go to a fuel stop, put some Canadian blended fuel in here, let it get cold again, and then go down the road and see how well the two electric heaters and the heats up the fuel temperature of the fuel and so we'll see it on the cab. All right, we're back inside. I have not started it yet. It's about noon up here. I'm starting. I'm turning the key on to let the grid heater warm up. You can see how low I am on fuel. I can run that low for one reason because we had the the fast sump where we draw from the top, and you can see that gauge. This gauge is reading zero because it will not go below zero. And we're going to attempt to start. It started, the oil was thick. Let's see if this this gauge right here, there's our fuel temp uh, pressure. That's an awesome pressure. Minus 10 degrees. And the fast is still kicking up pressure with straight number two fuel. And didn't even have the heaters on on the, um, on the fuel. I have it on the manual switch so I can override it and kind of uh, warm up the fuel before we turn the pump on and did not do that. But look at that, straight 18 pounds of pressure, which you want on this um, 011 Dodge. And we're gonna come back, we're gonna shut it off because we don't have a whole lot of fuel to play with. And I'll be back with you in a little bit. Hello, we're back. It's about six hours after that first filming. Earlier is minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit with a minus 33 Fahrenheit degree wind chill. Now, the only thing that we've done different, we've let this truck sit all day with number two fuel in here. We haven't touched that. The only thing that we've done different is that we've plugged in that heater, uh, the engine block heater. I didn't want the fuel um, being limited by what the engine could crank in the way of the oil uh, viscosity. Now we're going to be stepping inside. Uh, remember the fuel temperature gauge only goes down to zero, but we can read here on the phone on the um, weather channel that it's minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, minus 16 degrees now. I'm going to hold this up to where you can see this. That's minus 16 degrees Fahrenheit with straight number two fuel, and we're going to see if the fast pump and it is cold out here, but we're going to see it's a lot warmer than earlier when that wind chill was cutting through me. But we're going to see if the fuel um, will be able to be pumped by the fast at minus 16 degrees. Okay, we're in the cab. Here's our fuel temperature gauge before I turn the key on. We know that only reads down to zero. It's actually a transmission gauge. We have our fuel pressure gauge that we're hoping increases over here to 15 to 18 pounds. After I get it started, I'm going to allow this the truck to warm up, get it ready to move. I'm going to go down to the Petro right over here and fill up with some Canadian blended fuel. Let it get, uh, then come back, shut it off for a couple hours so the fuel gets nice and cold. Then come back out and we're going to start it up. I have the electric heaters on, have the coolant heat on, and right when I started the filming, I turned the manual electric heat on on this. And we're going to show you how well with the mass flow return coming out of the fast and with those three and the two electric heaters and then the coolant heat going we're going to show you how well it heats the fuel going down the road to keep you safe now i'm going to cook i'm going to turn the key on 
you can see we're still low on fuel we have fuel pressure over here already and we're gonna you can hear that oil is thick and there we go 16 below zero straight number two fuel and that's 16 below zero Fahrenheit and that fuel pressure still came up I wonder if we could start it at minus 20 but I don't want to be out here thawing out a truck at minus 20 I'd like to show you how well it goes down the road I believe we could start at minus 20 and we're gonna wrap it up right now and then we'll come back to you when we have fuel in here and we're going down the road and we're up here in Thompson Manitoba Canada okay we went and filled up we put 57.9 gallons of fuel in the tank which left us 2.1 gallons of usable fuel with our suction with our sump kit or a suction tube kit the STK 5500 we were able to go down and use 57.9 gallons of a 60 gallon tank there's no system out there that can get you more usable fuel out of your tank than what we're using we're holding about 47 deg uh, degrees Fahrenheit temp fuel temperature going down the road it's minus 15 here holding about 15 pounds of fuel pressure and we're gonna go inside the cab now and show you those gauges we have both electric heaters going and the coolant heat with the mass flow return of the fast system there's no one fuel system out there that I believe can do any better than that make the trip safer we're showing 55 degrees here but as I said going down the road it cools down to about 47 degrees we're showing minus 9 here on the cab and between that and the weather station there's a good 8 degree difference it seems to be there's minus 17 degree Fahrenheit here but like I said we're holding about 15 pounds of fuel pressure right here 15 16 pounds of fuel pressure which is excellent the cold weather characteristics of fast is going to keep you and your family safer than any situation out there system out there but I don't want to oversell it with the two electric heater probes and the coolant it is very safe but be very careful where you fill up make sure it's best to go to a place that goes through a high volume of fuel the places that sell a low volume have a lot of condensation can get a lot of water in their in their fuel and then they pump it out and put it in your tank and I believe with the heaters on and the fast if you put it in yeah you're going to do very well but when you go to shut it off that water is going to freeze up and it's going to freeze up and build an ice dam and that we cannot pump through we can pump number two gelling fuel we can pump the blended fuels gelling to a degree as we've shown we can pump up to um, well on this filming we've seen 17 degrees 16 degrees number two straight fuel pumping very well I don't know how cold we can go but you put water in there and that's a different situation now we can get that water out drain it out and things like that but be very careful you fill up we do appreciate your time and being part of this this uh, research and development up here in Manitoba Canada thank you and have a terrific day